Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back to DCTC. On today's episode, we are going to turn a regular old pumpkin into sadness from Disney Pixar's Inside Out. This is what sadness looks like. And we will just be focusing on her head. So let me show you what I've done so far. This is a little pie pumpkin from the grocery store. So it's not one of the really big ones. You could do a really big one, but I thought that this would be a little more manageable (laughs) to try to record. So what I did is I painted her hair first, or I tried to. So kind of made her hair part on the side and then I painted her face a lighter blue. And as you can see, a little piece chipped off. So I need to mix up some light blue and fix that. And then we can start working on her face. The supplies that you'll need for this project are different colors of paint. So for me, I'm gonna use blue, white, and black. You'll need some paint brushes and something to mix your paint in. And for the part where I painted the whole pumpkin, I used a larger paintbrush, but now for the detail work, I'm going to be using these smaller brushes. And I may do her eyes, um, well not her eyes, I may do her glasses with a Sharpie marker. I'm trying to figure that out. (laughs) I haven't decided about that yet. The first thing that I'm gonna do is mix some blue and white paint together so I can fix that little spot on her face. Okay, and then I'm just going to paint over, I'll just actually probably repaint her whole face since the blues are not the exact same color. Now, I wouldn't worry too much about the bottom of the pumpkin because you're probably not going to see it. If you have it outside on the front porch or something like that, then it will be sitting on the, um, if it's on the concrete, it'll just scrape the paint off anyway. Or if you have it on a table, that part won't show, so... Don't worry too much about the bottom. There we go. All right, so I fixed that and then I um, waited for it to dry and I helped that along with a blow dryer. So if you're in a hurry, you can use a blow dryer on a cool setting to dry off the paint. You wanna make sure it's very dry before you start the next part. So the next part is actually going to be very tricky and this is when we do all the detail work and I'm going to use a pencil to sketch on Sadness's face. So we need to work on her eyes and her sad little frown. (laughs) So I'm just gonna take a pencil and sketch that out. I'll show you what I have so far. This, the sketching will be really probably impossible for me to do in front of the camera just because I have to hold it on my lap to do it. But I'll show you what I did. The first thing is you want to, she has huge glasses, so you wanna make sure that you have the spacing right for that. So I use this round cookie cutter, and you can see that I have sketched in her glasses and the little part that holds them together that sits on her nose. And then I started working on an eye, but I think I'm gonna have to make this bigger. And I have her little eyebrow. It's tricky because her glasses really overwhelm her face, which is part of her charm, I think. (laughs) So um, anyway, so I'm just gonna keep sketching and I will show you what I have as I move along. So as you can see, I've done a lot of revisions (laughs) on that eye. And next, what I'm going to do is start painting her eyes. So we're going to be using white first. Just gonna take my white paint and start working on her eye. While those are finishing drying, I'm gonna mix together some blue and black, cause <laughs> maybe, there we go. I need a darker blue than what I have. Woo, I should have mixed that up first, yuck. And we'll add some blue. And we're going to use this for Sadness's eyes. Whoa, that's way too dark. Hmm, I definitely need more blue. Once you get the paint just the way you want it, you can finish working on her eyes.
Okay, here's what we have so far. I still need to do an outline in blue of her entire eye, which I'm gonna have to do <laughs> with this pumpkin sitting on my lap, so that will be impossible to show you. And then I need to make a little white spot on each side, well, in each eye. So I'm gonna do that part next. Okay, so I wanna show you the brush that I used to do that. It's really tiny and it's for detail work and you just take the tiniest amount of paint and go right around the edge, just like that. And I'll also use that to do the eyebrows and her mouth. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I moved for just a split second. I took my eyes off the pumpkin. Oh no! If something like that happens to you, let me show you how to fix it. So, I mean, I already did, but I'll show you what I did. So I took a little piece of paper towel and quickly wiped off as much blue as I could. Then I cleaned my brush and dipped it back into the light blue paint that we mixed up and just painted over it. So that's the really good thing about painting is that you can always paint over if you make a mistake. So I think after that dries, it'll look just fine. The next thing that we're going to work on is the little white spot in Sadness's eyes. And then I'm going to also do her eyebrows. She's starting to really look like sadness now. We have her eyebrows, her eyes, and her mouth done. So the last thing that we need to do is the glasses. <laughs> so I'm gonna mix up kind of a dark purple because her glasses are kind of a purplish gray color. So we'll mix that up and then we'll be ready to finish her up. That looks about right. Okay guys, well that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching me paint Sadness. If you did, you can click on the thumbs up button to let me know, okay? And leave me a comment and tell me if you'd like to see me do additional characters. I could paint some of the other characters from Inside Out, or maybe there's something else you want to see. This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching!